Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. My name is JC. If you haven't seen my face before, today's video is another weekly reading vlog. So good morning, happy Tuesday. I normally start these on Mondays, but yesterday when I was getting ready for work and I was about to head to the office, I was like, girl, what are you gonna say? Like, hi, good morning, talk to you later. So I decided, oh, I'll just hold off and I'll start it this afternoon when I get home. But then I got home and it's pitch black outside because, you know, it's 4.30 p.m. And I was like, okay, the YouTuber and me couldn't fathom starting a reading vlog or just a video in general when it's like dark outside and the lighting was just not going to be good. So here we are. Good morning. I am having a meeting in about five to ten minutes. So that's why I grabbed my computer this morning and I just prepped for that. And then after that, I will check in with you guys and I'll give you an update on my current read. I just finished my meeting, so I wanted to give an update on my current read. I started The Hawthorne Legacy by Jennifer Lynn Barnes last night, and guys, when I tell you, I read 250 pages of this book in one sitting. Like, I could not put it down. You couldn't pay me to put this book down until my eyes quite literally gave out on me last night. But I was devouring this book. I was eating it up. I love Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Like, her writing is just immaculate. It's so easy to read. It makes you just want to keep going. Like the way she writes it, I'm just sitting there for probably an hour saying one more chapter. No, just one more chapter. Anything by her. I think I want to read everything by this author. She wrote the Natural series, which we know. I love that series. So once I finished that, like, I knew I was going to get to the Inheritance games sooner than later because it's been sitting on my shelf for honestly quite a long time and now I'm just sad that I let it sit there for that long. I read that book last week when I was traveling. It was like the perfect read for a plane ride, honestly. So once I finished that, I immediately had to go get book two. So glad I did. So if you do not know, what the Inheritance Games is all about. It is following Avery Grams, who is a junior in high school, and her life is completely turned upside down in like 24 hours. She goes from living on the streets to all of a sudden she's inherited billions of dollars from a stranger. The catch? She has to live in the house with the Hawthorne brothers for a year. Now the whole thing is that Tobias Hawthorne, who left her the billions of dollars, has this family that definitely thought they were getting the money, let's just be honest. And so that causes some tension, but he is a mind games guy. He loves puzzles, he loves riddles, and the entire Hawthorne house, mansion, estate, it is full of all these different, you know, trap doors, hidden passages, and everything's a clue to everything. So, obviously, she wants to know why this stranger left her billions of dollars, and obviously, the family would like to know, too. So, it is just such an amazing YA mystery book. Oh my god, I just loved it so much. It is so fun to read and it's right up the alley of the naturals as far as like if you like that book, if you like that series, you will probably enjoy this. And honestly, the Inheritance Games alone is probably worth a shot reading if even if you like didn't absolutely love the naturals, but book two is a direct continuation of book one. Uh, guys, I'm finishing this today. I have 100 pages left. I'm for sure finishing this today. And I probably want to read The Final Gambit as well, book three, um, this week. So that's, I don't know everything that I want to do this week or like what I want to read this week, but I know that I am filming an Iron Flame reading vlog. And then I'm also just reading on the side as well when I'm not able to actually film for that video. So this has been that. And I definitely... I'm finishing this. I'm finishing this today and we'll be able to talk about it. I can't help myself. In general, I have a lot to do this week with work and personal. And if you've been watching the weekly reading vlogs recently, then you would know, like, I just haven't been home. Like, I've been busy with work and traveling for work that I just haven't been able to be home for a week. And so I'm happy to say I am home this week for the entire week. Next week, we're not going to talk about it. We're not going to talk about her yet. We can't do that. But this week really has to be 
organized and time management is key because I have quite a few videos to pre-film for Bookmas. I did post on my like YouTube community page and my Bookstagram account what I'm doing for Bookmas. So in summary, I am posting every other day in December. So it'll primarily be book content, but there will also be kind of just lifestyle things, which I feel like my channel is. It's like primarily books with a little bit of lifestyle. So I did post uh, more about that on there so if you want to check that out I look forward to it but it does require a lot of planning especially because work is going to be insanely busy I'll be traveling I'll be going home it's just a lot so I want to pre-film certain videos that I know I can pre-film and I'll just make it easier on me especially just when things start to get hectic in December but I also am right now filming an iron flame reading vlog and when I'm not able to film that I've been reading books like the Hawthorne Legacy. So you guys will get a lot of behind the scenes. I also need to go to the library. I learned today that I have a hold to pick up and I just haven't been to the library in so long because of travel. So I'm excited to go today and just browse the aisles a little bit, even for fun. I mean, I say that. Guys, anytime I go to the library, I end up bringing home like three books. And I'm like, girl, you don't, we don't have time for that. <laughs> so we'll see what happens today. But I'm just excited to go to the library, if I'm being honest. So it's about 10 a.m. now. I am going to put myself together a little bit. I feel like I just want to wear this hoodie. So if the temperatures allow it outside, this is what I'm wearing. Um, and I'll just change into not PJ shorts. Yeah. Uh, productive morning. I'm ready to get my day started and tackle a to-do list that I've probably yet to make. <laughs> I just got back from the library and guys, I did the thing. I did the thing where I went to get my one library hold and I walked out with three more books. Do I have the time to be adding to my TBR? No, no I don't. So why did I pick them up? This is the same cup of coffee. I just reheated it up when I got home. But the book that was on hold, I put this on hold like three or four months ago. I honestly kind of forgot about it, but it is In the Likely Event by Rebecca Yaros. So I remember when I first read about it, I was like so intrigued. So it's about Izzy and Nate who were uh, sat together on a plane and sparks flying, definitely that chemistry there but that plane actually has an accident and that causes their lives to completely change. They go in different directions. Their paths cross over the years a couple times, but the main thing is they both end up in Afghanistan and he is tasked to protecting her. So kind of a second chance thing in a way. Oh, I mean, I guess that makes sense. In the top it says, is it a second chance if you've never had a first? Valid. Rebecca, that's so valid. So I hope I get the chance to read this, but I also just have no idea. And then, I, I don't know, guys. So this first one is, let me try to get the glare off, um, Chaos and Flame by Tessa Gratton and Justina Ireland. I don't know if I'm saying those names correctly, but um, that's what I believe. It says, they were sworn enemies, fate had other plans. So... Bound by Prophecy. I just remember like when I read through this, I was like, oh, that sounds so fun. So I think it's a YA fantasy romance situation. Yes. Yes. When I read it and have more of an understanding, I'll talk about it, obviously more, but that that's the gist. And then I picked up Gallant by, I think it's B.E. Schwab, yeah? Yes. And so this just looks stunning. I don't know what it was, but I picked it up. Um, like... None of these books, I've, like, I don't, I don't know. But we're following Olivia, and all of her life, she has wondered who she truly is and where she belongs. So I believe she has her mother's journal, and in that journal, there's drawings and stuff. And she realizes there is a hand, a door, a bloom, and a skull. And it all leads back to, I think, her hometown that her mom said, like, never go there. 
Olivia goes, of course, she finds this iron door, right? Something like that. And uh, like at the family's manor. And she wants to get on the other side of that door. She's learning the secrets of her mom's death and all of that. So, oh, it just seems so, there's art in here as well. I'm very interested to read this. I feel like it's going to be good. And I haven't actually read anything by V.E. Schwab, but I know there are plenty of good books by this author that people rave about. So I don't think I've actually seen too much about this one, if at all. So I'm excited to really get into this one. And then the last one, I was just like, JC, my goodness. But I saw one Instagram post about it. Like someone posted this in the second book, but it is Light Lark. Light Lark, yeah, by Alex Astor. And I'm, I think it's fantasy. Welcome to the Sentinel. Every hundred years, the island of Lightlark appears for only 100 days to host a deadly game. Shut up. Where the rulers of six realms fight to break their curses and win unparalleled power. Each ruler has something to hide. Each curse is uniquely wicked. To break them and save themselves and their realms, one ruler will die. To survive, Isla Crown must lie, cheat, betray. Even as a love complicates everything, yes! Okay, 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 fantasy romance, guys. Can you tell I'm in a fantasy romance mood? I can. <laughs> so, these are the books I picked up from my library. Yes, I know. We don't have to talk about, we don't have to talk about the logistics, but I did it. And I'm very excited because these books just sound so good. So, I am going to get myself situated. The main task of today is filming a bit for Iron Flame reading vlog and I need to film a video for Brookmas. So I think I need to get ready, especially to film not really the reading vlog because like you guys get what you get. But for like a dedicated video, I like to kind of put myself together. All I'm doing is sitting in front of a camera and talking. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to edit that. Okay. I'm gonna get ready and then I'll update you guys as I have more updates, but very successful morning. Okay, I just got ready. I'm gonna go pre-film a book miss video. And honestly, I know that once I get this done, I'm gonna feel so much better because the more I'm able to pre-film and just prepare myself for December, the less stressed I will be. So I will see you on the other side. Okay, filming is done. That was exhausting and took like a very long time because when you wanna talk about books specifically in a very structured way it can take many takes is all i'm saying many takes because i'm like oh goodness that didn't even make sense let's try again <laughs> so we finally made it i am starving so i'm gonna make some food and then do a little bit of work and once i'm done with that we are finishing hawthorne legacy like that's all i can think about right now okay it's about 4 45 so what it's been like two two and a half hours ish since we last talked i made some food delicious loved eating um and then i finally was able to schedule some maintenance for my dryer i don't know if i ever mentioned it on here but when i was leaving for my trip at the beginning of last week my dryer broke yeah love that for me so um i was able to schedule some maintenance people to come out next tuesday so in a week from now and I did buy like a dryer rack thing just to have. I feel like in certain cases I need it anyways for like certain like delicates or something that really shouldn't be put through a dryer. But I did that. And so I did my first load last night where then I had to let stuff dry overnight. So I kind of should do another load tonight of other stuff. But uh, I did that and then I did some work, which was cool because I'm doing this different project that just requires me to do some analysis I haven't done before and using the same tools that I use in my day to day but just applying them in a different way I think is just so it's cool it's fun it's just a change of pace and doing different types of work so I love being able to kind of expand my knowledge in that sense and think of different ways that the tools and everything can be used but now it is almost five where the Maui Invitational, Maui Basketball Invitational is going to kick back up. And so Tennessee plays first and then KU plays second. So last night was the Chiefs-Eagles, like Monday night football game. And it was like, well, I didn't go out the Chiefs way, but it was a good game. Um, and then KU played kind of simultaneously. So it was like trying to switch back and forth. 
so I'm glad to have the time tonight to just have the basketball on. But last night during the football game is when I got to start reading. So I think that's exactly what I'm going to do tonight is I'll be able to put on the um, basketball games and then finish the Hawthorne Legacy for sure. And then um, I'll probably work on the footage that I filmed today for the book miss video and just kind of importing that stuff, going through it, organizing that footage, all of that. So I am going to probably do that for the rest of the evening and most likely I'll just see you in the morning. Good morning, happy Wednesday. I had a meeting that I prepped for this morning. That's what you guys saw me grab my laptop for first thing. I don't love when I have to do that, but happens way more often than not. Um, so I just got done with that, and now I can get ready for the day. Guys, this juice is so good. It's like that Suja brand, but it's probably the only green juice that actually kind of tastes like a green juice that I like. Like the Bolt House Farms green goodness that I've talked about. I, I don't taste any green. You know what I mean? This though, there's some kale, spinach, spirulina, like what the hell is that? Barley grass, but we have a lot of like apple, mango, banana, cucumber, lemon, and so that makes it so manageable. So I like this one. Uh, reading updates. So last night I finished the Hawthorne Legacy. Love, 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 love so good um i think i'm giving that oh my god carry on there's just an alarm um but i think i'm giving that 4.5 stars yeah i i was trying to think of like why it wouldn't be a five stars but i think ultimately it's a feeling i absolutely love so much of that book but it's not a five star read you know the reader pops get it and then I started, where'd it go? Oh, right here. Perfect. I started Gallant by V.E. Schwab. So like I mentioned, this is my first V.E. Schwab book. I read about 100 pages. I'm on chapter 10. And overall, like, this book is eerie. And I don't know how V.E. Schwab's, like, stuff normally is. But this is eerie. And not, like, spooky, but just it has this overarching feeling and it is totally like, like Wednesday, like the show, like how, well, that's kind of a, a comedy in a way, but there is eerie elements, I guess, just with the tone of like the setting and what's happening. And that's kind of this. I think I talked about this when I did my library haul. Olivia pretty much put in this like all girls school as like an orphanage and then all of a sudden she learns that she does have family left and they ask her to come back to Gallant. But the journal that she has from her mom basically says, do not go to Gallant, do not go to Gallant. But Olivia's like, this is the only family I have. And she's a little quirky, a little quirky in her own self. So at this point, we've just seen what the synopsis says and like yes we've gotten a little more than the synopsis but mainly it's like the fact that you know she receives this letter from a family member and she learns I do have family she's now going to that house and it goes from there uh, at this point it's just very like eerie like that's the only word I can think of to describe it I'll probably read more on that today but overall the goals are to also read for the iron flame reading vlog because I didn't do that yesterday yeah, things just took longer than I expected, and I do want to read during daytime for Iron Flame. That's where I just need to kind of prioritize that during the daylight today. So that's our goals. We are going to get ready for the day and then start working on those. It's been four weeks since you called. I'm speechless. I don't even know what to say right now, but as you guys saw, I was at Barnes, and the story behind that is my friend wanted to give me something for my birthday, but they didn't know what to get me, so they did the next best thing. They said, do you want to go to Barnes? 
yeah of course I want to go so they bought me some books which are so sweet and one of the books was this one do you guys see it do you guys see the autograph sticker I'm freaking out because last weekend I was actually at Irvine Spectrum and the next day that I had gone this author Mary E Pearson had posted your or maybe she put it on her story I don't know but she shared that she was at that Barnes and Noble and had signed some books and I was like I'm literally about to get on an airplane and I can't go back and see if she signed a book. Like I was so sad about it. And so I remembered that when I was there today, but I was like, okay, obviously those books aren't gonna be there. But either way, I'm gonna go browse, I'm gonna go look around, and I found this. I pull it out and it has this freaking sticker. I was freaking out. I mean I still am. This is I think my first signed book by an author. I just can't believe it. I just I just can't believe it. I'm so happy. So I actually already bought this. I think on Amazon, honestly. So no problem. I'm just going to return it. I haven't read it yet. Oh, I'm so excited to read this though. Like, this is a priority to me. And now it's even more of a priority. Like, I'm just not okay. I'm just not okay. Ah. <sighs> And then I got some other books that you guys will have already seen by the time you see this because my book haul video will be out. Right now though, I haven't filmed it and I'm struggling because Powerless is supposed to be here between the 21st and the 22nd but because of the holiday, I'm assuming it's going to come on Friday because it just made it to Los Angeles. And I'm like, of course. Mm. So I feel like normally it would be delivered tomorrow but with Thanksgiving... No. <laughs> so that's a little bit of a bummer. It's just going to make it a little stressful for me because I really want to put it out on Friday. So I'm thinking I'll just have to film it like first thing in the morning and then um, have to edit and post it. It's a me problem, honestly, but it's just I would really want to post it on Friday because I anticipated getting that book before then. I can push it to Saturday. I don't know. This is just me thinking and talking. But I'm so excited about Bob Thieves. Okay, I'm going to go get some other stuff done. But I needed to update you guys, of course, because I was freaking out. Oh, I'm so excited. Good morning. <laughs> I just took a hard nap. It's now 4 o'clock. And we need to go to Target. So like I mentioned, tomorrow's Thanksgiving. And I really didn't even get a bunch of groceries in general. And I'm thinking... Oh my gosh, still waking up. But I think I just need a couple things from the store and they won't be open tomorrow. Neither will Ralph's, I think, which is the other nearest grocery store. So I just want to go to the store, grab some stuff. Um, but man, I'm, I'm so a little sleepy, huh? <laughs> I picked up stuff to make my favorite, favorite, favorite Thanksgiving dish. And then some other things because I went to Target and Target tells me what I need. So I'll give you a haul when I get home. Came back from the store, obviously have to give a haul. So the two non-food things I got, I got a dish towel. Why? Because I thought it was cute. And then I saw this sweater. It is bright red. It looks stunning. I'm kind of obsessed with it. So I got it. At least it was 30% on sale. It cost me 21 bucks. I feel like even the full price being only 30 isn't bad, but 30% sale, like now I had to get it. As far as everything else, I went to get green bean casserole, but I came out with just a little bit more. You can never tell. I really like the French fried onion. So I got two bags. I don't know if I need two bags. Um, I got green beans and then the cream mushroom soup. I feel like literally that was it and like some milk, but I already had that. But then as an additional side, I got some fruit with some fruit dip. So I got some strawberries, cantaloupe, and this cream cheese fruit dip. I feel like this is the main one that are in like the platters and stuff. So I'm excited because it'll just be a nice, like, light thing. So it's just me tomorrow for Thanksgiving. Sometimes my mom will travel, like, and come be with me on Thanksgiving. 
My uncle has came to visit me on Thanksgiving, um, but I've never traveled for Thanksgiving. Like since I left for college, we never like tried to get me home for Thanksgiving, only to come back to college, take finals, and like have to fly back in two weeks. Like it just never made sense to us. So I'm not used to traveling for Thanksgiving, but it will be nice to honestly just be home. I mentioned this earlier in the vlog, but like this is the only week that I know of that I'm for sure home. So I kind of want to soak it up. So I got some stuff that's just like, I know I really like green bean casserole at Thanksgiving. I also really love mashed potatoes, like homemade mashed potatoes. Couldn't bring myself to do it. So I feel like this will just be easy peasy and I'll have it as some leftovers as well. And then having some fruit is always fresh and nice. So I'm going to put this stuff away and figure out kind of what I want to do next. Um, and I'll go from there. Good morning, happy Thursday, happy Thanksgiving. Mm. Delicious. So I have a reading update for you guys. Last night I finished Gallant by V.E. Schwab. I'm giving this book three stars. So overall, I enjoyed it. I'm glad that I picked it up. It just wasn't anything special for me. I didn't absolutely love it. But it definitely maintained that eeriness since we last talked. And it totally gives Coraline vibes, which I like Coraline. So I definitely think there is a strong audience for this book. It was told in kind of this poetic way. And I think at times for me, that actually just made it a little more difficult to fully understand every part that was going on. So if this does sound interesting to you, I definitely recommend picking it up. It just may not be for everyone. Look at this cover. I'm trying to make sure there's not a glare, but look how like stunning it is. It is a beautiful, beautiful cover. But okay, it is like 940. Yep. And I definitely have things that I need to do today. I slept in. I slept in until like 9. It was fantastic. I was last night. After I finished this, I was like, oh, I want to start the final gambit. And then I got in bed and I was like, I can't do that. I can't do it. So I definitely think that's the next book that I want to pick up. But like I said, I have things that I need to do today. So I think first things first, I want to make a list for today. I always do better when I have lists and anything from small things to big things. So I think that's exactly what's going to set my tone for the day. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Guys, it's almost 3.30. Where's the time gone? <laughs> I've been filming for a book miss video for the last four hours on something that I thought was only honestly going to take me like two. Like I knew it was going to take a while, but wow. Wow. It took me a very long time so that just takes away from the time I thought I was gonna have to be able to film for the Iron Flame reading vlog which is killing me because like I want to read for it but I also need to be like on you know like when you're filming yourself and you're giving reactions and opinions and thoughts like your brain has to be working you're not just sitting there reading a book and filming yourself so I definitely can't just like jump into that right now my brain can't do that so I think I just want to take a minute relax Probably get started on the green bean casserole and check out my to-do list and see kind of what else I was wanting to accomplish today. See what else I can. But wow, time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> I definitely loved the video and like loved what I was doing. It just took me a lot longer than I thought. And I am obsessed with this sweater. I'm so glad that I got it. I am wearing pants, so I'm wearing some shorts, but I just, I love this. It's so, so, so cozy. So I'm gonna relax a little and I'll update you later. Call. Us crazy, but things are finally right. You and like I mentioned, it is only me here for Thanksgiving, so I just grab things that I would like to snack on. So I put my fruit into my containers and I have the fruit dip, so I'm just gonna snack on this while I set some stuff up for the green bean casserole. And I need to like clean out the dish that I used for the cinnamon rolls this morning and get going on that but I wanted to do the fruit first so I had it out and I could snack on it while 
I did the green bean casserole. Also, I've never made the green bean casserole. I know that's pretty easy, but I've never done it. So there's that. It'll be fine, but I'm hoping there's no issue. I have Rachel Catherine on. I am kind of behind on videos in general with certain creators, her being one of them, and she's definitely a like cozy creator for me. So I want to watch and catch up on her videos while I do everything else. Okay, it's like 8 o'clock or so, and I just had YouTube videos flowing. I've uploaded all of this week's weekly reading vlog footage so far, and I just started another bookmas video, getting that introduction started. I went through my to-do list. I think I was able to do a lot of it. Let's check it again. Oh, guys, look at me go. I have more can check off. So I wanted to upload the weekly vlog footage just because it takes time to import footage into Final Cut Pro. I wanted to browse around different Black Friday deals for Christmas shopping, which I did. I was able to make a few purchases. I was able to do a little bit of work stuff so I could do that. The last two things I have is one more work thing that I just don't know if I want to do. I just don't. Um, and then I wanted to pick up my bathroom. I didn't think I was going to do that until I did like my nighttime routine type of thing anyways. So I'm, I'm in a good spot. I'm still a little bummed I couldn't even read for an hour today on Iron Flame. But I think I'm going to be able to tomorrow. I'm going to be working from home. If it's a light day at work, then I can just allocate some hours. Guys, it's insane probably the amount of PTO I have insane so in light work weeks i definitely want to utilize that <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and get ready for bed i mean it's eight o'clock like i'm not going to bed but i want to get ready for bed i want to probably start the final gambit as well and it is kind of hard because like there's so many books i want to read that aren't necessarily for a video but there are books I want to read for a video. And so I'm trying to balance like these various books I'm reading for videos on top of books that I just want to read that they don't need to be in a video. But I mean, that's where you guys come in and I get to share these with you. I don't think I'm doing weekly reading vlogs during book miss. Let me know if you guys want me to try to still do weekly reading vlogs where it's just like a lot of everything else. You know what I mean? Like the weekly reading vlogs just have such a special place in my heart. I just love having kind of this fallback vlog to always talk to. Like, I love just updating you guys on the most random absurd things that are maybe so irrelevant. This is just so great. Like, we get a chit chat. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know. I don't even know if that really makes sense. Now that I'm, like, thinking about it, I'm like, did that just, that was gibberish. That was for sure gibberish. Good morning, happy Friday. I'm feeling so good this morning. I woke up on my own terms. I got up, I took a shower, blow dried my hair, got ready for the day. And so we definitely have work that we need to get done today. But first thing, I wanna run over to Target and see what kind of Black Friday sales deals they got going on. And then I'll come back by here, grab my bag, and I wanna go work at Starbucks for a few hours on my actual like job stuff. And then hopefully, come back here and get some reading done for some reading vlogs. I just got back. I didn't find anything as far as deal-wise that I felt I needed to purchase here. I plan to do a majority of my Christmas shopping in Kansas locally when I get there. So I just figured I wanted to go today and see what kind of deals they had if there's anything like I couldn't pass up. But I did get two things. So I got this clip. Focus. It was only well, one five dollars on normal price, which is insane, like amazing. But it's only three fifty with the sale. Love that. And then that same red sweater that I got two days ago, three, I got it in this beige color. So we love we love sales. It was thirty percent off as well there, so it was nothing extra today on the sweaters. But I'm gonna go ahead and pack up my bag, and we're gonna go ahead to Starbucks. I'd rather be with you than someone I don't know Now it's like we're living in two 
separate worlds come on back to me say that you okay i just finished filming for my book haul video guys i had 30 bucks 30 bucks ridiculous and i tried taking out the books that i knew i talked about in other videos so this isn't really even all of them that I've got over the last few months, but that's okay. Um, overall though, I was hoping to get this out today, but I had a book arrive today, powerless. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just have it go out Saturday. It'll be fine. So that's what I'm doing. I've just filmed it. I'm going to work on importing that footage to Final Cut Pro and get to editing. So I have no hiccups and it can go up tomorrow. But overall, it has been a very very successful day. I feel good. Like at Starbucks when I was working, it was so nice to just bring only my laptop knowing like, girl, you don't have time to be doing anything else. Like just bring your laptop. You're going to do work like for my job work. And so I just sat there, did that for an hour or so, and then came home, filmed all of this. Oh, guys, I did a thing. I did a thing and I'm so excited. So something that I've been really wanting for my place, and I don't know if I've vocalized this much to you guys overall, but when I've been buying things for my apartment, I have just really tried to buy, I don't know, like good things. Like not just like to get the cheapest thing, just to have it. Like this couch was not cheap. I took a long time finding the right TV stand. I already had this and this has been perfect. My like, uh, coffee table and like my bed and the nightstands like all of it I picked out very particularly so the one of the last two things I want are bookshelves yeah <laughs> and then um a full length mirror I'd love to get a circle mirror to put up somewhere as well like maybe like there I could do something or it's, it's like I don't know somewhere it could be nice but a full-length mirror I've been wanting ever since I moved to Virginia honestly like after college I got rid of the one I had and then I haven't had one since so I've only had like the bathroom mirror it's been rough um so I've been trying to find one and like at a decent price like I'm not just gonna go drop two to three hundred dollars on a mirror because I want a big one like I wanted one that was like 70 at least inches tall and once you get into that range it's pricey. So with Black Friday, I was like, okay, I need to like look at the ones I've saved and see if any go on sale. Well, the ones I thought I was going to be getting was only on sale for like 170 And I was like, that's not enough for me. Like, I'm sure it's a great sale for you guys, but not for me. Like, I, I don't want to spend $170 right now. But then I found one that I think is going to be good enough. Like, I'm hoping... I'm hoping, but it went on sale for like 140 but then it had like a coupon for like save an additional $40. I'm like, oh, $100? Okay, like that I can work with. Don't love spending, like $100 is still $100, but from what I was looking at, okay. And then I went on to pay and I saw that my credit card, because I was using it so much for work travel and like they reimbursed me for that, but I was using that card and I was getting reward points and like money or whatever. So I had $80 in rewards. So I only spent $30, like massive girl math right there, right? So I am very excited. It's supposed to be here Monday, so it'll be when this vlog is over, but I'm sure I will show it in some video, I hope. I don't know, you'll see it eventually, but I'm hoping that it works out. I don't know. It didn't have a ton of reviews, but the reviews that it did have said that it was good, said that it was sturdy, they had really good customer service. Like it is a mirror that's shipping and things can happen in shipping. So they said like a couple people said that it had cracked during shipping, but they were so good about replacing it with no questions, you know, no hassle. So I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that it will just come good, especially if I have to leave as soon as Wednesday. I'm really hoping that there's no issue with it coming on Monday. Otherwise, I would just have to hold off on it, which would be sad. So that's my update that I'm very excited about. I'm going to go put away these books. <laughs> oh my god. And then just get get going on importing that footage and probably filming for Iron Flame. I really need to get that done. I also have another video I need to film for. Okay, we're good. It'll be fine. Guys, I feel like the universe is just trying to give me signs, 
trying to point me in the right direction, maybe throwing a little bit of shade. But when I gave you guys the last update, just in the last clip, I had went to swap my SD cards because I'm trying to keep, you know, videos organized and whatever and all the different footage. And instead of putting in the weekly reading vlog SD card, I put in the Iron Flame reading vlog SD card. So that was fun to see. Like all of a sudden I look down and I see the weekly vlog SD card like sitting on my couch and I'm like, well then what's in here? And then I was like, you're joking. You're joking. <laughs> But with that, I do not want to force myself to read for any one video. So I'm not in the mood to film for the Iron Flame reading vlog. I really would love to be, but I'm just not. And so I think I would like to just not do that right now, not today. And I am going to actually shift focus on another reading vlog that I'm doing for Book Miss that I kind of am in the mood to kind of start for that. So I think I probably only have like an hour and a half left of daylight. Plus it's gloomy in certain parts, so maybe even less. So I think I just want to maximize the daylight that I have left, read a little bit for that vlog, and then once the sun's going down, then I will shift focus and uh, work on the book haul video because that footage is importing into Final Cut Pro right now. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to change into a hoodie just so I'm not lounging around in a jean jacket. But that is my plan right now. I feel like it is so hard to be a YouTuber in the winter time when we all love the good lighting, but we have limited hours. So... That's always a blast, but I'm going to get working on this so I don't lose more daylight. I'll talk with you guys later. Okay, it's currently 4.10, and I think I'm done filming for the reading vlog today. That's a video that, like, I'm filming over the next couple of weeks, so it's not as stressful. I just want to film over time to make it easier, which I guess I thought I was doing on Iron Flame as well, but here we are. But I am going to watch a little bit of YouTube right now. In 20 minutes, there are two women's basketball games on that I really want to watch. And so I'm, one, a little bummed because, like, of course, both these teams are playing at the same time. But two, I'm excited because basketball. So I'm going to watch YouTube in the meantime. I heated up leftovers, the leftover green bean casserole, and then I got out the fruit and fruit dip. I basically just want to make sure I'm eating all, like, the fresh stuff now. And then that way, when I have more of an idea of next week's stuff on Monday, like I'll, I, I will know. I'm not buying more groceries until I know when I'm leaving. So um, that is my update for now. Oh, I want to show you guys. I use like my TV stand as well, one bookshelves a little bit, but two, I mean, I try to keep up the books that I, I want to read sooner than later here, and so I updated that. A lot of them are the same, but then I was able to incorporate all the library books, all the books that I want to read sooner than later, just ones in like the winter time, so I just like that it's updated now, and I know all the books I want to be reading like soon are all here. Good morning, happy Saturday. I literally just woke up. It is almost nine o'clock. My video, my book haul video goes live in a couple minutes, but the first thing I wanted to do when I woke up today was time block my day because I have things to do and when I create a super strict schedule for myself, I succeed with it. So I feel like that's what I need to do. Last night I wrote a to-do list of things that I wanted to get done today. So that's what we're gonna work out. So, oh my gosh, <sighs> it is currently 9 o'clock, so, <sighs> to do. I'm using my Anecdote, like, weekly, daily planner, and so what I really like about it, let me go to a blank page. This is what, like, a normal day looks like Monday through Friday, and this is what it looks like on Saturday, Sunday. So I like that I still have my time block, but then I have a to-do list at the bottom. So this really helps me because now I can make my to-do list on here, and then after just transferring that list, I can now look at it and see the time blocks that I can maybe implement. So it's currently 9 on the dot, which is perfect. <sighs> Let's figure this out. Okay, I have a plan. We'll see. I mean, I was writing in the margins. I was doing all sorts of things. But like I mentioned, it's currently 9.04. So my first plan right now is to get up, get ready, get to Starbucks by 10, which is so doable. I'm not, I don't think, getting myself all dolled up today. 
not feeling that. So I just want to get on some comfy clothes, get ready, get out the door, get there. What I really like about time blocking is it's a constant like challenge to myself because I want to get it done in that time. Sometimes things take longer than others, but sometimes things take less time than others. So I just know that if I get ahead of schedule, obviously that's always good and I can utilize that time and I feel like when I time block I often get that way so I feel like I've allocated the proper time the time that's like you never really know is how long it's taking to import various footage edit that footage things like that and so I have various importings and editing stages of today and that's really up in the air so I feel like if I sit down and I focus I'll be good but if not <laughs> we'll see for now Let's get ready. You know what we're not going to do today? We're not going to judge. Can't judge. So, I did my skincare. I am keeping on the same hoodie. And I just put on different leggings. These are like lighter than the ones I had yesterday. And then various combination below. But let's be honest. It's pretty much the same as yesterday. Okay? I have a style. I have a comfort style. And this is what it is. If I really couldn't care less about being in public, then it's sweatpants. But if it's like, girl, I mean, try a little bit, then it's leggings. Like, that's, that's me. But we are going to go. I have my bag packed. Let's get to Starbucks. Okay, I'm heading home from Starbucks. It was so successful, right on schedule. I was able to do even a little bit more than I planned. So, I'll see you at home. Okay, I'm doing good on time. It is currently 11.38 and I am importing footage to Final Cut Pro for the weekly reading vlog. So I'm just importing all the footage that I haven't edited yet. And while that imports, I want to do my journaling for the day and then do a little bit of reading. So I put on my schedule that it would take an hour to import, but I feel like it's making some good progress. So We'll see, but in the meantime, I'm going to read, I'm going to journal, and then I'll check in with you probably before I start editing. Okay, it's about 12.45 or so, and I've just been reading The Final Gambit. I'm out on page 78, chapter 20. I just love this. Like, I just keep wanting to read it, but my stuff has finished importing, so I really need to edit it like I planned. So... I'm going to put that book down and edit for the next hour or so. I think I expected rough cutting this film to be like an hour or so. So we'll see how it goes. But my plan is to edit. Good morning. Happy Sunday. I came out here and I time blocked my schedule just like I did yesterday. So I just got ready. We are headed to Starbucks. I have so much work for like my actual job to get done today. So that's going to be definitely my main focus. I feel like yesterday I got done way more than I thought I would as far as editing and videos and everything. So I feel really good about that. And now it's just going to work and getting back in time for the Chiefs game. They play at 1.30, so I just want to make sure I'm home in time for that. Guys, I am such a hoodie sweatshirt person, but I don't have a Chiefs hoodie sweatshirt. Like, I have a t-shirt, I have a jersey, but I don't have, like, a hoodie or a sweatshirt. It doesn't make sense. So I have this red one by Pleasing, so I'm wearing that. And I have my t-shirt underneath, but, okay, I need to go because... I don't know why I've tried this morning clip so many times and like my brain just like can't, it can't do it. So this is the best we've got. I feel like it makes sense. I mean 20th time's a charm so I just need to get out the door, okay? I'm gonna get behind schedule already. Okay, I just got back from Starbucks and I know that I didn't film anything but I really just needed to work. I needed to just get to Starbucks, get my work done. So it's only about 10.45 or something like that and I came back earlier than I thought, but I was just really on a good pace, and then I hit this stopping point where I felt like it was good to just come back, get up, walk around, so um, that was nice, and now I'm just gonna sit on my computer and do some more work. I have, like, specific work tasks to get done today, not necessarily just, like, working, checking on stuff or whatever. It's like, I have things to do. Um, weirdly, I only have one football game on like, only have one football game, like, access, which is weird. There's, like, six games going on, but I think it's because of all the basketball going on right now as well. 
I'm not sure, but I really hope that I have the Chiefs game today. Like, I will be so sad if I don't, and I don't have the heart to look up right now if I do. Like, I could go find out right now, but I just, I can't put myself through that. I'm going to sit on my computer, watch some football, do some work. Okay, it's about 1 o'clock, which is so good because the last 30, 45 minutes have ticked by so slow. So the next round of NFL games will be on soon. And hopefully I just have more access than just one game. That'd be nice. And hopefully it's the Chiefs, but in general, like, I just want more than one option. I spent the last, like, hour and a half or so, hour and a half, two hours, doing work stuff. So it was so nice because I was able to wrap up a project and just check on things overall, which, I don't know, it's just nice that my brain was like really focused doing it. I feel like the last several days I've had such a hard time focusing on the tasks and I don't know. I was just very happy about that. So while this exports, I just want to honestly for the rest of the day, I plan to just be on this couch. I plan to lounge around, do absolutely like the minimum. I want to read right now. Like that's really what I want to do. So I just need to check on my time blocking schedule and just overall tasks and see Kind of if I'm in a good place to chill out or if there's something that I'm forgetting about because sometimes that happens but I feel like I'm in a good place right now so I just want to cozy up on the couch and read like that's like such an amazing Sunday and it will be probably the last Sunday in a while that I could do that so I want to take advantage of it and I look forward to finally like learning more information tomorrow about just kind of when I'll be traveling next because it's been like in this weird limbo state I'm just I'm struggling I'm like I just want to know something but I'm not like anxious to know it it's more like should I go get groceries should I not should I start packing should I not and so finally I'll learn a little bit more information tomorrow hopefully it's in the direction of hey, we're good, and now I know exactly when I'm leaving and what I'm doing. But if it's like a no, essentially, then I'm back to like, okay, well, what does that mean? <laughs> so I am just going to relax and enjoy this Sunday on the couch. It is currently 5.30, and I finished the final gambit. It was so nice to literally just sit there for like, what? three and a half hours or so and literally just read like I had football on the Chiefs won it was a good day and then I got alerted that I had a package and I know what this is I bought the first book like five ever ago five ever and then I finally read it and then I read book two for my library and obviously fell in love we all know that I read book three and then this was just added to the list of books that I've read and wanted to buy. And this was on sale for $11, I think. So, went ahead and picked it up. I love, love, love having books that I love. Like, even though I read it from the library, I just feel like there's certain books that you love and you want to buy because of that. You know what I mean? Like, I read books from my library that I'm like, okay, like, I mean, it was a good book, but I don't need to own it. This was one I needed to own. First of all, I had books one and three. So, no way could I just not have book two. But, she's stunning. And now she can go, I say like on my shelf as if I have shelves. But, she can go be stacked with the others. And I will be so happy she's here. This book was so good. I do not know what I want to rate it yet. But, I loved how things really tied up in this book. So then we have the Brothers Hawthorne, which I have, and then next year comes The Grandest Game, I believe, and that will be the final book in this series. So I love it. What did I do to this book? So for the rest of the night, I feel like I'll probably just edit this video. So I'll wrap up this and then be able to edit that while I watch some YouTube, eat some dinner. The next video that you guys see from me will be the beginning of Book Mess. So buckle up because I'm like, I'm scared. <laughs>
full transparency, I'm scared because I have a strong competitive nature, especially like with myself. Like I'm very competitive within myself at this stage in life. Like I feel like growing up I was competitive with sports where it's like, yeah, I'm competitive against other people, but now I'm like, how am I doing? I set this goal for book miss. I really hope that I achieve it. So keep me in your thoughts. <laughs> but with that, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in book miss.